Hey everyone. So in this week's video, we're going to be doing, what is it called, Taylor? I don't know what it's called. Uh, you know, listener question. We'll come up with a fancy name later. Q&A? Mm. Q&A. No, maybe. So this week's question comes from Sarah. So Sarah asks, I have a 24 hour late cancellation policy, but I hardly ever enforce it. Help! I find that therapists are in two camps when it comes to their cancellation policies. They either have them, but are so passive that they never enforce them anyway, or they get really rigid and leave no room for flexibility. So my favorite way to handle late cancellations is by having a boundary you feel comfortable with while also understanding that sometimes shit happens and we have to suck it up. So if you have a client who consistently cancels at the last minute or one who chooses to stay at work to complete a project, there might be a clinical issue that they're avoiding. In this case, it's actually important to charge the late cancellation fee because by allowing them to miss sessions, it's negatively affecting their progress. So basically not charging them is only enabling something that might be clinically relevant. On the other hand, if you have a massive snowstorm and your clients can't leave the house and have kids home from school, charging them a late cancellation fee seems kind of douchey. Like it's not their fault that there's four feet of snow on the ground. So these are one of those times where I think it's best to just suck it up, waive the fee and enjoy a day off. So instead of forcing yourself into this box of either being super lenient or super rigid, treat cancellations on a case by case basis. It's important to have a policy in place, but if you're never going to enforce it, you might as well not even have one. Consider examples of times when a late cancellation might be acceptable versus when it's a clinical issue that needs to be addressed. We aren't helping our clients by allowing them to miss appointments without being held accountable. On the other hand, we're also not helping them by sticking to rigid policies that don't allow us to be compassionate at times too. So I hope that that answered your question, Sarah. And if you are interested in submitting a question, just click the link below. See you guys next week. Hey, thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to click subscribe and visit us at yourbadasstherapypractice.com. I have a free four part video e-course on taking your psychology today profile from bad to badass. Can't wait to have you join us.